Welcome to Regrid. Today we are demoing our latest enhanced location certainty product, Regrid nationwide parcels plus matched secondary addresses. We have matched and pre-joined our parcel data to more than 176 million all known addresses in the US and are delivering them as one combined product, complete with standardized schemas and universal unique IDs. The two datasets are already pre-joined and ready for data ingestion and consumption. Our team has put together a quick demo site that shows all addresses on a parcel and why this dataset is so compelling for your next location intelligence project. Please note that the fields you see in the demo are only a subset of the full parcel data and address schema. So as we get started, just a quick note on the map legend. Uh, so down at the bottom, uh, you see this sort of green color. It means one matched address on that parcel. The lime green means multiple matched addresses. And where you see a more gray outline, uh, that is uh, unmatched. When you see a green dot, that means that there is an address there. So to understand why secondary addresses are so valuable, let's start with uh, one of the more basic units, right, which is a single family house. Uh, so here we have an example of this. We've got a single parcel, which you see here outlined in orange, uh, and associated with it is just one address, which you see here is that orange dot. Now we have in our basic data, the situs address, uh, or the site address as I might call it later in the video. Uh, and this is just a single address that is associated with this parcel. Now that works very well in a single family application like we see here, but it leaves a lot of room for improvement when we start talking about multi-floor buildings or buildings with multiple addresses. So let's take a quick look at a office building and we can explain how that works. Okay, so here we are at the Transamerica Pyramid, an office building in San Francisco. And this is a good example of how the situs address is just a part of the larger story of what's going on in this building here. So we see that we still have the situs address, but we also have literally dozens of addresses uh, which fall into the secondary address category. And these are all addressable locations where you can send and receive mail. Uh, in this case, they give you sort of suite and floor numbers, um, you know, and there are literally dozens of them. So whereas in the past, you would have just had the one address associated with the parcel, now we have all of these associated with the parcel. All right, so we've seen how secondary addresses can be valuable when you've got a single building with multiple floors or suites, but let's look at some other examples where secondary addresses can add value to the parcel data that we have underlying. Let's take a look at this parcel to understand another application of secondary addresses. So it's a little tough to see here on the base map, but uh, what we're looking at here is a single parcel that has multiple buildings on it. And the starburst pattern that we're seeing here uh, it results from the fact that the center of the parcel is here at the center, and then all of these dots correspond to addresses we've seen before. And the relevant thing here to note is that, yes, this provides you a list of all of the addresses on the parcel, but more specifically, it provides you some location context within the parcel as to where those addresses are. While we're on the subject of context, I thought we would quickly take a look at how these secondary addresses also play very nicely with some of the other data that we get. So let's look at this uh, slightly taller apartment building over here as an example. So we see, as we've discussed before, we see the situs address and then we see the secondary addresses. That's all useful in and of itself. Um, but I wanted to highlight also that some of the other data that we have attached uh, can really be helpful in building sort of the context of what's happening on a given parcel. So the USPS provides a variety of fields that can be helpful here. Uh, the ones that we pulled in for this demo site is this uh, DPV status and type. Um, so DPV stands for delivery point validation. Uh, so you can see whether or not the USPS considers a given address uh, deliverable. And then the type can give you a clue as to sort of the use of the structure. So H here means uh, high rise. In a similar vein, we've also attached for the purposes of this demo our LBCS information. Uh, so this will give you a standardized across the country determination as to the land use of the structure. Okay, so two more quick examples of how secondary addresses work, this time coming to you from Brooklyn. So example one here is the Fairfield Inn, which is a hotel. And so what we see here is that there is actually only one address for this parcel, even though, uh, as you would imagine in a hotel, there are many, many rooms. 
But actually, this tells you something useful as well, the fact that there's only one, presumably, front desk address, and that is that people aren't getting mail to all of those other rooms. So that's helpful context in and of itself. And then finally, the other way that secondary addresses can be useful is that it can shine light on how those addresses are distributed within a building. So here we see a building that has essentially addresses of two camps. Uh, you've got addresses coming off of 7th Avenue and you've also got addresses coming off of Union Street. Uh, and so this is really helpful because you can see the context here. You can see that there are a bunch of suites coming in off the Union Street side and then you, there's just a handful coming from the 7th Avenue side. And again, if you were only looking at the Citus address, you would have none of that context available to you. So that's a quick visual demo of what this augmented data set could look like and how it could help you when it's loaded into your maps and apps. Please reach out to our team to get a data sample by emailing us at parcels at regrid.com.